Hi guys, and welcome to a Hector Lecture Guide to the fight Cape Westwin Rittatin. Uh, this fight's going to break down all of the major mechanics to help you to hopefully go for the clear. First off, the boss stands in the north side of the arena. Uh, you're going to want to pull this boss north. Your melees are going to want to be around the boss. I prefer recommend facing the boss sideways because it does have some cleaves. And you want your ranged and healers off to the side of the arena. Uh, the boss will occasionally cast a number of different attacks. None of these have cast bars, uh, and the order is seemingly random, which means that you're going to need to just be ready and adapt on the fly. Healers watch your tank and party health. So first up is Shield Skewer. This is just a light-hitting uh, tank buster. Shrapnel Shell is a slightly harder-hitting tank buster. Again, there's no cast bar. There's no animation to show you this is happening, so you just need to adapt to them. Uh, Winds of Tartarus is a untelegraphed AoE that hits around sort of melee range, which just means that your melees are going to take some light damage here. Drill Shot targets a random player and hits them for quite high single target damage. And then Firebomb's a big one. This is going to target a random player and drop a fire AoE on them. This uh, hits for moderate damage on that player and also leaves behind a persistent fire AoE that's going to last the rest of the fight, so you just need to dodge out of that. Uh, this is why we have healers in range to the side, with the hope of trying to keep as many of these out of the main path as possible. Uh, you're going to get a lot of these over the course of the fight, but no matter where they hit, you just adjust out of them and try to stay to the sides. Gates of Tartarus is a very hard-hitting tank buster. Again, it's hard to see when these are coming, and this one has a cleave to it, so make sure nobody is standing on the main tank. Just to show you that again, it hits sort of uh, in a line, but a not very long-reaching line. Uh, when you get the boss below 60%, add phase is going to happen, and two adds are going to spawn in the south of the arena. I recommend immediately marking one of these with a one-way mark so you know that's the one the party should focus. You can group these up to AoE, but trying to get these down will really help to keep your tanks alive. So immediately go down south, have your uh, off-tank grab aggro on both of these, and have all of your DPS focus on them one at a time. These adds actually have a lot of different attacks that they use, all coming from the Paladin pool of moves. So they've got Fast Blade, uh, which is just a slightly harder hitting attack, like a mini tank buster, but barely. Shield Bash will actually stun the uh, player that they target this with. Rampart gives them a defense up buff, while Fight or Flight gives them an offense up buff. Uh, also be aware that from time to time they will try to cast Solaris. Uh, this can be interrupted by stunning. You cannot interrupt it with your usual interrupt skills, but if you stun them, you prevent them from giving them an attack speed up buff. Be aware that there are still firebombs going out, so adjust out of those wherever they land. Hopefully you'll be able to down these with not too much trouble, one at a time preferably to limit the amount of damage your tanks are doing. Uh, taking. Make sure that your healers are watching both tanks' health, because with the random tank busters on the main tank, they can drop very quickly. When this finishes, uh, you're going to soon after see the boss shoe a quote, Your defeat will bring Lord Von Bielser's noble conquest one step closer to fruition, and this uh, sparks the beginning of the Magitek missiles phase. So for Magitek missiles phase, the boss will occasionally launch six missiles up into the air, one after another, in one quick animation. Uh, when you see this, this is your cue to move the boss away from where it currently is, because you're going to have a very large, hard-hitting AoE hit where the boss currently is positioned when you see the animation. So we're just going to have the main tank pull the boss down below to B, watch out, there's a firebomb that targets a random player, and then immediately afterwards you get the big AoE. That's why we pull the group away. You can survive this, but it will take a huge amount of damage, uh, and it will be quite hard to heal up with all of the tank damage that's happening as well. Dodge out of the firebomb, and... Be prepared, because shortly afterwards, the boss is going to do it again. As soon as you see the six missiles, pull the boss A, and you can just bounce them back and forth between A and B. This set of mechanics will repeat continuing continuously until you manage to defeat the boss. Now, all of what I've just described is exactly what you're going to experience. Uh, assuming you were doing the fight minimum eye level, you're doing it silenced to echo, and honestly, you're probably going to need to remove your job crystals if you want to be able to experience this fight in any capacity as well. Uh, that really will give you a little bit of challenge. Uh, if you do this fight without any of these, just standard uh, sync, uh, so eye level sync to about 130, uh, you will find that what will normally happen is everybody will attack the boss, the ads will appear, and then the boss will die a couple seconds afterwards. So, uh, if you want to go and experience this fight the way that it could be, uh, I hope this guide's 
you find this guide useful, and you can use this to uh, go and try to get the clear on this uh, before this fight's removed from the game. So enjoy, everyone. Thanks for watching.